in this last video about object-oriented programming, we're going to talk about um, at the very basics of inheritance. Now, you can think of inheritance like genetics, right, where you've, you, your parents have uh, passed on specific uh, traits that you've inherited into there. It might be um, your height. It might be your eye color. It might be even like your chin or your ear size um, and on all of those types of things. Well, object-oriented programming has something similar where um, you can inherit in that. And, and we're going to talk about why that's important and how to use that um, here in the Python uh, world and, and why that's important inside of uh, object-oriented programming as well. Just like I said in the introduction to this video, inheritance is a lot like um, gene genetics. You kind of compare it to that. Um, you might have inherited traits from your biological par parents. Well, Python, it's got inheritance of other classes. Um, so classes that pass on the genes um, or attributes and methods, those are called parents. And classes that receive the genes, quote unquote, um, those attributes and methods are um, then they're called children, right? So a formal definition, a parent class is a class that is used to contribute all of its attributes and methods to a child class. So this is where it is different from genetics, right? Um, a parent class is going to pass on everything to it. It's not a pick and choose, those types of things. It's just everything gets passed on to it. A child class is used to extend another parent class by inheriting all the parent's attributes and methods. Um, and so... Um, uh, the child class might be taking on those types of things and then making small adjustments to those um, or, or maybe um, certain situations where it's just always is one thing where in, in another situation it may not be. And, and I'll kind of explain all that here in, in just a minute. In fact, here's, here's kind of an example here. Um, so I've got Pokemon. Um, we're, this is all ready. We're all pretty used to this already by now. Um, this is the same Pokemon class that I, I uh, showed you in the previous video. Um, and then to um, also preface this, I've created a, a simple function called print non dunders, right? And so what this does is this goes through the directory. If it is a dunder, then it doesn't print it. Otherwise, um, it does it and kind of prints that out. So um, I, I print a non dunder of a Pokemon object. Um, where I'm doing Starmie and I have um, I pass in kind of the moves and stuff like that. Um, you can see that the items that are in there or the attributes and methods are energy type, generation, HP, level, moves, name. Right? Those are all that are in there. So now I have a subclass called sub Pokemon, and what I do is I pass in this Pokemon um, class, right? And then I do nothing else. So this literally just inherits everything from the parent and does nothing else to it. Um, and just to kind of show you that everything, I haven't defined anything else. That's what this pass does is it doesn't do anything else. It just assumes um, the parent thing. And you can see that by doing sub Pokemon and I create an insta instance of it exactly the same way I did with Pokemon, it has the exact same attributes and method methods that the previous one had. Um, and so that's, that's kind of a, a neat and little interesting thing there. And that's how that kind of works is it just automatically um, puts all of that in there. Now, this type of situation really isn't that interesting. You want to make changes to it. You want to extend that, um, that class to it. So let's talk a little bit about how we would do that. And we do that by using the super um, function. And this is a special function that is used for us to access a parent's attribute or method. Um, and then enables us to override such those, those such methods. So if we go back um, and we override a, a dunder um, init in here, we're not necessarily going to init. Um, if we did, if I defined a dunder init in this guy, the dunder init of Pokemon wouldn't be called until. Um, so this dunder init wouldn't be called until I explicitly call it. So in this case, because I don't have a dunder init, I'm not overriding that. Um, it just uses my Pokemon dunder um, init that's there. So let's override this um, with this. So I've got a situation where um, I thought about, hey, you know what? A water Pokemon is is something that are very common, right? It's one of the most common types. Um, uh, in, in Pokemon. And the same thing with grass, right? Those are very common ones, at least in my little deck of cards that I have here. Um, and so I wanted to create a Pokemon, a water Pokemon child class 
and a grass Pokemon child class. Um, and I'm passing in the Pokemon as the parent class. Now I call the Pokemon um, parent classes under a knit um, by doing super and then open close parent. So I'm calling this function and then dot dunder init. And then I pass in those values. Now you notice that my dunder init for water Pokemon is a little bit different. I just got name, level, start HP, and moves. I don't have my energy type because a water Pokemon always has a water energy type, right? It doesn't change. Um, it's not a multi energy type um, situation here. Um, and so I'm just going to pass that in there. I know it's always going to be water. So in my parent one, my parent dunder in it, it does require that. So I'm just going to pass that in there as well. And then I'm adding to my parent, um, to my local instance, a self dot weakness, which is electric. Now I'm doing the same thing with my grass Pokemon. I'm passing in a grass and its weakness is fire. So I'm going to create a Starmie dot um, or a Starmie water Pokemon, and then you can see that um, by not even passing in water, all of a sudden my energy type is got water that's in there. And then we also have access to those additional types of things. So that's what's happening there. Um, that's that's kind of going on there. Now it's really important that you do your super call first. Okay, um, and then the reason why is because um, when you call your super, then it's gonna override anything that you've potentially already done. Um, and, and so let's let's kind of show you that here. Um, let's continue on with our. So I'm just gonna take this same Pokemon class that we did in our other example and do water Pokemon, and then. Pass in my Pokemon in there. Now, if I do def dunder init, and I'm passing in my, I have the self one in there, the name, the level, the start HP, um, and then the moves, right? And let's say I do self dot energy type is equal to um water right and so then i'm going to do super here let's let's call this actually pre water okay just kind of show you that what's going on here and then do super dot dunder init and then i'm going to pass in the name the level the start HP, and then my energy type is going to be water. And then my moves are going to be a tuple with water um, or star freeze. Oh, sorry. With moves. Whoops. All right. And now I'm going to change this to water Pokemon for both of these guys. Okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to remove these because I don't longer need to pass in water. Um, and then I'm going to print out what my um, polywag energy type is. All right. Do that. Just comment out of my battle here. Um, we're going to clear out of my screen and show my Pokemon. Now you see that it is, it is water and not pre water. And that's because I made, I made changes here and then I called the super and it overrode any changes that are in here. So if I ever needed to do um, something else like that, then I do my call my super first. And then I'll make changes to my um, my energy type. So I can just do this is equal to now post water. Save that. We're going to run this again.
and now it says post water in there. So just be aware that you always want to um, call your super methods first so that it takes care of all the stuff um, before you and doesn't overwrite the things that you've already already done because it will go and override those those types of things in there. Okay, so this is a, a basic example of, of inheritance and that's kind of how inheritance works. There's a lot more to this, um, but I didn't really want to get into the advanced portions of this um, because it, it was... I didn't really want to overwhelm you um, with this. There, there, you can um, inherit from multiple um, different types of things, but I'm not going to get into that because I want you to really just kind of focus on, and practice um, creating objects and creating classes um, for for this at a at a ba basic level um, for you in there. And so um, that's that's the end of of, uh, of inheritance for you. I kept it really simple and, and short for you there.